It's a murder case that captivated the Valley for three decades. The so-called canal killer was sentenced to death earlier this year. Brian Patrick Miller, convicted of brutally murdering and mutilating his victims, dumping their bodies in the Arizona Canal in the early 90s. And tonight, for the first time, Fox 10's Nicole Garcia is getting an up-close look at some of the thousands of pieces of evidence from this case. And we should warn you, some of these evidence photos are graphic. Justice finally served for the families of Angela Brasso and Melanie Burness when Brian Patrick Miller was sentenced to death this year. It took more than 20 years, advances in genetic technology and familial genealogy to finally crack this case. About a thousand pieces of evidence were presented during the trial of Brian Patrick Miller. Ultimately, it was forensic evidence that sealed the case. Items collected from the scenes in the late 90s remained in bags and boxes for more than two decades. With new technology, detectives finally matched the unknown DNA sample they recovered. And that was the first case solved ever using forensic genetic genealogy in 2015. And that identified Brian Patrick Miller as the suspect in the case. Bloodied and torn clothing, underwear, the victim's bodies all provided detectives with a DNA sample of a then unknown male suspect. Police say an anonymous tipster told them about Brian Patrick Miller in the 1990s, but he wasn't considered a strong lead back then. It was pre-DNA. Uh, there was nothing at the time that linked him to the crime, and he really went, uh, fell under the radar. In 2015, familial genealogists matched the unknown DNA to the last name of Miller. Police then tricked the newly identified suspect into leaving a DNA sample. Undercover officers posed as security guards that wanted to offer Miller a job. They met him at a restaurant and then got his saliva from this mug, which he drank out of and left on the table. That's very typical of collecting surreptitious samples. Um, you know, discarded DNA is discarded DNA. It, you have no, if I discard my DNA, I have no say so over it anymore. Brian Patrick Miller was convicted of both murders after a six month long trial. He was then sentenced to death and his attorneys are now appealing that death sentence. I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.